Grandma Ron is dying. Two dogs outside. <laughs> Goodbye, German boy. Wait, is he? German boy. Did he die? No, he's fine. Thanks, best. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Welcome back to Leafer Company, now including 200% more Leafer. I really love playing this game with my fellow Brainlets, and as a result, I now have about two Call of Duty's worth of footage. I already made a review about the game, but if you have watched that video, which <coughs> I recommend you do, you may have noticed that I didn't show any footage of Titan, the final moon of the game. That's because in the words of my queen, we are broke boys. Now, I could have just posted my video and moved on, but I forgot that my brain and I sometimes don't see eye to eye. That's because I have a severe case of eight brain worms, making me hyperfixate on random things. What if we miss the best part of the game? What secrets does the last moon hold? Is this whole setup just an excuse for me to play Molly for company? Yes. See, while the first five moons are free to visit, if you don't count the psychological trauma, <laughs> traveling to any of the last three will cost you a hefty amount of change. Paying to be able to work sounded really dystopian at first, but then I remember that cars exist. If you want to uncover the secrets of Titan, we will need to get 700 credits. Now, this sounds like an easy task, but between my teammates refusing to learn about essential British culture... Everybody keeps saying it's like a fucking weeping angel. I don't know what a goddamn weeping angel is. I had to Google it. It's from some stupid British show called Doctor Who. I'm an American! And our inability to perform basic video game tasks, we were in desperate need of a plan. After weighing our options, we decided that our best course of action would be to go fast and go hard. Grind the first one for as much scrap as possible. Even if the scrap is worth less than average, this is just a numbers game. With enough farming, we could easily make the money required, and as a German, farming is basically my blood. Experimentation is also a really convenient level, with the shortest distance to the facility and minimal danger levels. It's the perfect place to go in raw. I mean, go, go in without equipment. At first, this seemed to work flawlessly. We made out like absolute bandits on our first run. Only two more days like this, and we would be on Titan in no time. But this is where I made a fader error that would haunt the rest of this run. Insane loot. <laughs> Honestly, for the first day? I also feel like the first map was really relaxed. Yeah, we're not making quota with this one. Before we continue, I need to address something really quick. You probably noticed that I color code the subtitles, making it easier for you, the viewer, to keep track on who's currently destroying your eardrums. You also probably noticed that we are now wearing different colored suits as well. That's because we discovered the wonderful world of mods. And while we opted to preserve the core Leafa Company experience, for now, we decided to add new suit colors to match them with our caption colors. This was a great addition, until Varric decided he was done getting harassed for the very specific shade of green he was wearing. Everyone knows that fucking song. I hate that song but, but, and I know it. How do like, you look not at his, know it? Look at your suit. Look. look at it right now. Alright. Varric's right, happy in the allegations. <laughs> I'm not He's wearing a purple guy. Anymore. Fuck that suit. <laughs> I'm making you guys switch captions halfway through. I do not want to be associated with that fucking Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> We also installed a different suit mod at some point, so don't get confused if colors slightly change throughout the video. Just remember, I'm um, blue, Remy's pink, Des is red, and Varric is either really into Minecraft or the cum man. You never see it okay, time for a new run. We chose March and actually managed to find some decent loot. Surely things are going to be better this time, right? Actually, things got way worse, because at this point we were not just fighting the horrors, but also the elements themselves. and. Let me tell you, we are not winning this one. Not just because the lightning turned us into pain level smear frames, but also because we discovered that this game features my number one childhood fear, my quicksand. I would never die to quicksand. Oh god. Oh god, quicksand! Whoa! It's quicksand! Get away! Get away! Now here's your opportunity to do the hard cut to me dying in quicksand. Quicksand! Get out! Get out! No, no, no. I'm in quicksand! No! No! no. no. I'm, I'm not gonna die to quicksand, guys. <laughs> To be fair, Varok wasn't the only one having trouble with quicksand. It actually started me so badly, I briefly switched back to my native language. Now, despite our valiant efforts, we didn't make enough money to go to Titan, and even worse, the continuous grind was starting to wear us down. If you stare into the abyss for too long, you may just lose a part of yourself. 
but I need money because I have Fortnite Keystock. Please! Other members cope with the pressure in their own unique ways. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's listening to fucking what? penis music. <laughs> and me? I just lost a crisp 20 IQ points. I think there's a, a head, head face thing bug. Bad bug. We also tried to sacrifice death to the company, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work out. What the fuck? To keep what was left of our rapidly declining sanity, we decided to switch things up, and while we didn't have enough money to make it to Titan, we could afford a trip to Silent Hill. I'm so lost, I don't care. La, 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 la. The mansion was a nice change of pace. We even managed to find this really cozy room with a fireplace and a calming waterfront view. Things were looking up again, until the lights started flickering. Oh, what? What? No, 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. What? I don't like that. Why are lights so doing that? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. What? I don't like that. <laughs> Why are lights that? turning off? But things started to fall apart once we left the building. In my defense though, who could have guessed that the toy robot, which makes a bunch of noise, would attract the creatures that are sensitive to sound. Between playing fetch with the dogs and titans literally spawn camping us, we decided that now was the time to stop having fun and play according to the meta. Only real tryhard, ultra sweaty, giant man boob gaming from now on. That means while well, three people get to actually play the game, one person <coughs> me will be left behind on camera duty. Oh, 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 oh. Now, just because you stay in the ship doesn't mean you are safe. And I know what you're thinking. This idiot is gonna scream like a monkey and then there's gonna be a dog or something. But no, uh, way worse. Oh god, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Leave me alone! I didn't even know she was hostile by the way, this is just my normal reaction to children. Also fun fact, only one player can see her at a time, so I ended up looking like a total schizo just talking to the voices in my head. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Leave me alone! Wait, what? What? Oh! Needless to say, our asses were not making quota. Also, at this point, it was getting late, especially for me. And so we decided we would give this one final try. And now comes the point I've been kinda dreading this entire time. See, despite what you may think based on my incredibly intelligent jokes, I tend to be a bit of a dumbass sometimes. When playing the for company, I was splitting my recordings up in multiple chunks per session. That is, so I could avoid 6 hour long video files that would most certainly crash this malware disguised as a video editor. I also use OBS to record audio to different tracks, allowing me to independently tweak what is happening in the game, my microphone, discord, whatever. This worked great, until it didn't. Um, somewhere right before the last two hours, I managed to completely disable all my game audio, making my footage sound like this. So why I would like to end this video with a grand climax and how we finally made it to Titan, given the state of my footage, I don't think I will be able to. Is what I would say if I was a little bitch. You didn't really believe I would leave you hanging on such a disappointing note, did you? Yeah, my footage is fucked, but Hello, I've been doing voiceover this entire time anyway. And with the help of Remy and Varrock, I get more than enough footage to finish this video. So now it's time to conquer every single mistake. Every setback only made us better, stronger. Look at that white boy, he's absolutely schmoovin'. We start off strong by completely and utterly cleaning house on the first moon. Now, we could have left the moon at this point, but I'm not here to play around anymore. Of course I go back in. I managed to collect even more loot and not only avoid certain death by a turret, but also narrowly escape a thumper. I told you, I am done playing around. This absolute banger of a run resulted in 426 credits worth of scrap, well over half of what we need to go to Titan. We continued our streak on the second moon, where we rose above our limitations, defeating a 
very small buck and collecting a BF netting us a crisp 120 credits. So now it's just one more moon and we still need about 100 credits worth of scrap to make it to Titan. More than manageable on your average run, but it seemed like fate was not on our side. Not only was this facility drier than your mom, but there were... <laughs> but there were... Jeez. Uh, who makes a your mom joke in a video in 2023? God damn it. But there were also some complications. After doing some advanced trigonometry in my head, I realized that we probably wouldn't be able to reach our goal. So I had to go back in. Only one problem, I didn't have any equipment. That means to progress here I would need to make a jump in complete darkness. But with the heart of the cards and the power of my 150 ping, I absolutely nailed the jump. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. Without pretty much any loot on this moon, we can only hope that the scrap we already had would be enough to go to Titan. 697 credits. More than five times our quota, but still not enough. Now, we could have sold a key, a piece of equipment, or resorted to more primal solutions. But you know what? If nobody got us, we know the company got us. And so we collect 98 credits for working overtime. It is time oh, to go shit. to Titan. Wait, 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 wait. No way. Oh, god damn it. I thought it desynced. I thought it desynced. Right when I thought the game wouldn't be able to scare me anymore, it fake crashes just to remind me who's the dominant part in this relationship. You can't make that up. Finally, we reach Titan, the apex of Lethal Company, a moon boasting a solid S hazard rank. Although that may just be due to the severe OSHA violations. But I wasn't really focused on the missing guard rates. My mind was filled with endless possibilities. What wonders await us here? What secrets will we find? What will this giant building look like from the inside? It's just another facility. But really big and full of loot. We even found the cum chalice. So that's kinda cool. There are also a lot of monsters in here, but at this point we were war hardened veterans when it comes to copper wiring extraction. Absolute cold blooded pros. Not even multiple coil heads could phase us anymore. Just remember, the shit ain't nothing to me, man. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. oh Bob, I hear it. Dead. I hear it. He's dead. He's dead? Uh, there's He's something dead. becoming. Fuck! <laughs> ah! God damn it! Oh, God, you're to me, man. It got kind of hairy at one point when a titan came to the bottom of the stairs. Giant, giant. <laughs> but I managed to use my co workers as disposable cannon fodder to make my way to the ship. It's coming to us, Ramaron. Help me! Honestly, there is not much more that happened here. We made out like bandits and collected around 2000 credits from selling our scrap. And then we blew it all the next time we played because someone kept putting on the funny mask. But, I mean, as Des would say it, that's what the mask is for. That's what the mask is for. Okay, bye, the video is over.